a new formulation of levodopa. And instead of taking it in pill form, the novelty here is it's administered by uh, in inhalation. Its uptake through the lungs is uh, to achieve rapid and reliable onset of effect to rescue people from being in off states. And people who have uh, advanced Parkinson's disease, or even just a few years of it, uh, very often experience wearing off of medication effect. The drug works very well for them, but sometimes as soon as two or two and a half hours after taking the oral dose, it can wear off sometimes quite abruptly and leave them in the lurch with Parkinsonian symptoms, immobility, tremors, stiffness, pain even. And how to rescue themselves from this uh, situation is a challenge in some instances. The oral medicine won't kick in for perhaps an hour or more. It just sits there in the stomach. In other instances, uh, it's at least a 30-minute wait, and who can wait that long? So the purpose, the target of this, this drug is that window between when the oral medicine typically will work and, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the maximal uh, speed of action. In our study, we found a clinically meaningful effect from inhaling uh, this microparticulate uh, form of levodopa within 10 minutes. The maximal effect took longer to occur, but a clinically meaningful effect was there at 10 and 20 minutes later, and it seemed to occur quite reliably with the product uh, as it's currently developed. The study is a phase 2B trial. It isn't the definitive answer, and for developing a drug and getting approval, it may take uh, longer uh, and larger scale studies to confirm the results that we have so far. The levodopa product is uh, 35 or 50 milligrams that was used. Of course, this is totally unlike uh, what the GI tract uh, is taking up. That's 100 milligrams typically or 150 or 200 milligrams per dose. But the uptake seems to be highly efficient and uh, as a powder, it gets right into the lung space and is in the bloodstream and perhaps uh, bypasses some of the first pass metabolism and other uh, deviations that levodopa has on its way to the brain. Well, the concept here is sort of rescue or filling in the gaps so that a patient who would inhale this uh, presumably would take an oral dose and uh, in the same time that uh, this drug is kicking in and perhaps wearing off the next oral dose might be going to work to, f to give that patient two, three, four hours of effect. So this is a uh, as-needed kind of therapy. It isn't uh, replacing conventional oral medication. But it sounds like, uh, you know, if this product were out there, patients could count on this uh, to go out in the world and not, not be afraid of uh, getting stuck in traffic or you know, unsafe situations like that. Typically in the first two years after starting levodopa, patients don't have this kind of fluctuation. Uh, this is a phenomenon that starts to begin for some people after the second, third year. And by the time three to five years has elapsed, up to 50% of people on levodopa will notice that the drug wears off to some extent between doses. Uh, severe off state, off meaning not being mobile and so on, is actually a very small number of people but it does occur, and uh, certainly uh, even wearing off and tremor coming up in social situations is undesirable. So it's a very frequent problem as the disease goes on, and yet these patients are levodopa responsive. They just can't store up the effect of the drug for longer than perhaps the uh, two to three hours of time that the drug is in their bloodstream. The drug seems to be quite safe. It's actually a natural substance. The novelty of delivering it to the lungs, of course, we brought up a very careful program of, of scrutiny for safety, including breathing tests and other measures of lung function. Fortunately, there had already been products that have used this route uh, using powder inhalation, including uh, the technology uh, that's used here was used for insulin delivery. So. Um, we are in the study uh, carefully looking at safety data and fortunately the results we're reporting don't show any signal for uh, problems other than some report of coughing and uh, uh, sputum, the uh, stuff that one coughs up, uh, being discolored. But uh, there doesn't seem to be any major concerns from the signal here that, that this wouldn't be useful for some patients. 
Well, the product is under further development. The company developing it, uh, Accorda Therapeutics, is interested to see this on the market, I assume. And I don't think, based on the data so far, that there should be necessary any modifications for the future plan of how the product is uh, formulated as a, a device or the doses picked. It looks like uh, it's on track for further development and filling an unmet need of rescue therapy for the patient who otherwise has this uncertainty in their life.